Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to English Cafe. This is Mamta, and I'm back with today's vocabulary live session at four. So please join me for the session, and let's learn some new vocabulary. We're going to learn around ten words and phrases. These are ten advanced English words and phrases that we're going to learn from today's newspaper headlines from the newspaper, The Hindu. So please join me for the session and we will get started. And uh, as you join the session, do say a hi in the comments so that I know that you are here. And please tell me where you're joining this from. And also tell me why do you want to improve your English vocabulary? Why is it important for you to speak English fluently or why is it important for you to improve your English speaking skills? Please let me know in the comments. And uh, before we start the session, there are a couple of things I would like to tell you. Number one, um, please sit at a quiet place so that you can watch the entire session without any interruption. Number two, Please uh, have a pick so that you can take notes. And number three, please participate. If you are here during this live session, please participate. Participate in the comments. Please interact because um, it really gives me a lot of motivation and encouragement when you interact with me. If there's no interaction, uh, I feel like you're not enjoying the session or maybe I'm not able to um, communicate my message clearly. So also another point is that if you actually want to improve your vocabulary, you have to use these words and expressions that you're learning. I think that's the most important point because you would like to use these expressions. It's not like you just want to store them in your brain and not use them ever. So you would like to use them. So please uh, do that. Please participate. And let me see if I have. Oh, all right. So I have a lot of you live. Good evening, Shalini, and welcome to the session. How are you doing? Good evening, Ranjan. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the session. How are you? Um, Renu says hi. Hi, Renu. Good evening, and thank you for joining. How are you doing today? Renat says hi, Mamta. Good to see you. Good evening, Renat. Good to see you too. How are you today? Great. Great to have you all here on time. Let's learn some new vocabulary. Um, Good. Ranjan says, I'm good. That's great. Shalini says, she is well. Good to hear that, Shalini. And I see Shalini participating so enthusiastically in the speaking marathon. Great going, Shalini. Keep it up. Okay. So if you're a student at English Cafe, I hope you are enjoying your learning and I hope you are improving and making progress and having fun while you learn English. Let me know how that's going in the comments. Rajan says, hi, how are you doing? Okay, I'm doing great, Rajinder. How are you doing? Vital, hi Vital, thank you for joining. Ranjan says, I have a question. Please go ahead and ask the question. Okay, so good to have you all here. And before we start talking about the words, could you please? Take a moment and share this session. Please share this live session with your friends. Go ahead, share it with your friends in a group or on your wall on Facebook so that they can also learn some new words and phrases every day because English is important and essential uh, kind of a skill for our career growth. So please go ahead and share it. Now, let's get started with today's session. Oh, someone had a question. Let me see if I have got the question. I think Ranjan had a question. Um, okay, I haven't received it yet, but as I do, I'll respond to it. Geet says hi. Hi, Geet. Thank you for joining the session and welcome. So, guys, um, we're going to discuss 10 words, learn 10 words, and practice the use of these 10 words from the Hindu. Today's the Hindu. You know, the Hindu is a newspaper. So, we're going to discuss words from there. Um, all right, Rajinder says it is glad that I'm well. Thank you. Thank you. Ashish. Hi, Ashish. Thank you for joining the session. How are you? So now let's get started with today's session. Let's learn some vocabulary. So there's this first headline. 
Okay, so these headlines are actually from the from different pages of today's newspaper. Since I couldn't find all the words and phrases on one page, so I wrote these headlines from across the newspaper from different pages and different sections. So here is um, so this news headline was on the front page today. It said, "Chirag warms to party reunion on father's death anniversary." So Chirag here is Mr. Chirag Paswan, who is the son of late Mr. Ram Vilas Paswan. So Mr. Ram Vilas Paswan was a politician, as you know, he had this political party. As you can see on your screen, that the name of his party was Lok Jan Shakti Party. So he was the founder. Mr. Ram Vilas Paswan was the founder of Lok Jan Shakti Party, and it was his first death anniversary. And his son, Mr. Chirag Paswan, actually um, invited a lot of people for the on that occasion. So he, this headline says, Chirag warms to party reunion. Let's talk about the expression warm to something. What does that mean? And you guys know the word reunion. Let's discuss reunion as well. What does the word reunion mean? Please let me know in the comments. I'm sure you've heard this word and you have used this word. So you know that a reunion is a reuniting. If you don't know the word reunion, reunion means reunite. Reunite means to meet somebody uh, that you used to meet before but didn't meet for a long time and then you meet them again. Or to get together with someone after, uh, after a long time. So that's a reunion, like a family reunion or a school reunion, etc. We have reunions, right? So reunion is reuniting. And the first, the other expression here was warm to something. Like Chirag warms to party reunion. Let's discuss the expression to warm to something. To warm to something or to warm to someone. We can use it with a person or with a thing. To warm to something or to warm to someone means to begin to like someone or something. Or to become interested in it. To become more eager or more excited about it. So that is what the expression warm to something means. For example, uh, uh, you know. She warmed to me quickly during our first meeting. She warmed to me quickly means she started to show interest in me. She started to like that interaction. So that's what it means, warm to. Okay. Or for example, uh, uh, you know, I had my doubts about him, but he warmed to the idea of hosting an event together. So he warmed to the idea means he uh, opened up to that idea or he started to like that idea. So that's how the expression warm to something or someone. In this case, we say it says Mr. Paswan, Mr. Chirag Paswan warmed to the idea of party reunion. That means he was eager. He is now eager to reunite with maybe other allies, their other political allies. So he's now excited or he's now eager to do that. So that's what it means by warm to something or warm to someone. Since warm, again, uh, warm is a verb. So you can use it in all the forms like warm, warmed, etc. So you know that. You know the expression warm up, right? We know this warm up, like we warm up before a workout so that we are more prepared to work out. In the same way, to warm to something means to open up to it, to become interested in it, to like it. Okay. Now it's your turn to use the expression warm to someone or warm to something in a sentence. Please do that. Let me see if I've got any new comments. E. Asani. Um, hello, mom. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, A. Asani. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good too. Uh, Rajan says, schools reunion after a long time. Absolutely, right? We have school reunions. You know, says there was a reunion party of 94th batch of students. Great sentence. Okay. 
Rajinda says parents should provide a warm environment in a family. It is essential. Absolutely. So warm is a nice word, right? Hot is, uh, you know, hot is unpleasant, but warm is nice. To warm up or to warm to something means to accept it, to start to like it. Can you use it? Uh, Guys, those of you who are here and participating in this session, please use the expression warm to something in a sentence. Like she warmed to, like the group warmed to our idea of starting a new business. Warmed to the idea means they accepted the idea. Or they like the idea. So that is what it means. Okay. Huang says he warmed to all members to join the meeting. Great. You know, so he was warm, welcomed by everybody. Great. Yes, that's what warm is. Great sentences, guys. Yes. So that's what it means. If you warm to something, that means you start to like that thing. Please participate. Those of you who are here attending this session, please participate during the session so that you can actually work on your vocabulary. Muzaffar says hi. Hi, Muzaffar. Thank you for joining. How are you today? Rajinder says, warmthness is a booster. Yeah, anywhere. Why not? All right, guys. So that was warm to something. And the other one was reunion. So you know the words reunion and warm, the expression warm to someone or warm to something. Now, let's move on to sentence number two. It's a good news again. Uh, it says, night tourism at revamped. Chandni Chowk on the cards. Uh, if you're not an Indian, let me tell you that Chandni Chowk is uh, a very popular historical place in Delhi. Uh, it's, it's a very old area and uh, it's, it's very crowded, but it's known for the heritage and the history of Delhi. Delhi is our capital. So the Delhi government has revamped Chandni Chowk. First of all, we'll discuss the word revamp and then we will discuss the expression on the cards. We'll discuss these two expressions here. You understand night tourism, right? So what the Delhi government is trying to do is they're trying to attract night tourism in Chandni Chowk. Uh, they want to set up like food stalls and uh, a lot of other night activities that can happen. So first of all, let's talk about the word revamp. What does the word revamp mean? Please tell me if you already know it. If you don't, we'll discuss the word. So you've heard this word, right? Like a building is revamped or uh, a place is revamped or a house is revamped. If anything is revamped, that means if you're revamping anything, that means you are changing it or you are arranging it in a different order to improve it. So that's revamp. Right? So that's what it means to revamp. Something means to change it or to do, uh, to make different arrangements so that you can improve it. So that is revamp. The other expression was on the cards. Let's talk about it. What does it mean? For example, we say that, um, uh, that it says that night tourism is in Chandni Chowk is on the cards. So first thing, the Chandni Chowk, Chandni Chowk area is now revamped. That means it's now been arranged in a different manner so that it's more attractive because we are looking at improving it. It was it used to be a very old city known for history, but it used to be very cluttered and chaotic and filthy as well. So cluttered, chaotic, filthy, unorganized, and very crowded. The Delhi government has revamped it. That means they have made changes in Chandni Chowk to make it better. And uh, now that they have made it better, uh, they have arranged things in a better way. They want to attract night tourism, and that is what is on the cards. So if something is on the cards, that means it's likely to happen. If you want to write it, please write it. On the cards means likely to happen. It will possibly happen. Positively, it's going to happen. 
So that's what it means if something is on the cards. Okay, for example, uh, a meeting with the boss is on the cards. That means it's likely to be a meeting with the boss today. Or I think their wedding, I think your wedding is on the cards. So if someone's wedding is on the cards, that means their wedding is likely to happen soon. Okay, or uh, you you know these tarot card readers, right? How, how they how they read horoscope, and they read cards. They tell you what's on the cards. So if something is on the cards for you, that means it's likely to happen for you. For example, is is a foreign trip on the cards for you? That means is it possible, or are you going to travel soon? That's what it means if something is on the cards. So we just discussed these two expressions here, revamp and on the cards. So yeah, if you live in Delhi or plan to come to Delhi, you must visit Chandni Chowk because it's now revamped. They have reorganized the traffic and uh, the crowd management and everything there. They have revamped it so that it's more attractive for people to go there. It's not chaotic. and now the night tourism is on the cards that means you will soon be able to have night outs with your friends in chandni chowk area in delhi so if that's something and you must visit chandni chowk have you ever been to chandni chowk by the way how uh, yeah i would like to know. have you been to chandni chowk i've been there many times since i live in delhi but how about you have you been to chandni chowk and uh you know, would you like would you like a night out at Chandni Chowk if it's like if it's uh, if now that it's been revamped? What do you think? Please let me know. I'll if I have any comments. Okay, um, a lot of comments. Rajan, this is recently Union Minister launched the revamped Metro Railway Station, right? That's correct. Tahira says remake. Yeah, so revamp is we can say a remake. Revamp is actually do something to some to a thing so that it can improve to improve it. So that's remake that revamp. Rajinder says we went into the revamped hotel yesterday. The amenities are amazing. Wonderful example. Huang says my face to face classes are on the cards. On the card. Okay, good. Actually, you should say on the cards. Cards plural. Renu says the shop is revamped and now the sale is increased. Great example. Muzaffar says after his visit, many schools are revamped. Great example. Uh, Rajendra says revamped house looks great. Good. Lakshya says yes, that's great, Lakshya. So, will you consider a night out in Chandni Chowk? Did you say yes? Okay. Huang says my father is revamping his business. Great. Happy to see your examples, guys. So yes, that's what revamp is. Now, please also use the expression on the cards. Please remember, you have to say on the cards, S, with an S. It's not a singular card. It ca it's cards, plural. So on the cards, OK? Renu says, the project of opening a new hospital is on the cards, Renu, cards, plural, C-A-R-D-S, all right? Aarti says, hi. Hi, Aarti. Welcome to the session. And how are you doing today? OK, Renat says, I passed exam and my driver's license is on the cards. Great. Congratulations on passing the exam. So this was uh, another headline. We learned these two words, revamp and on the cards. Now let's move on and let's talk about another headline. So. It's related to the same news, actually. And uh, it says, Kejriwal inaugurates redeveloped and beautified stretch, says plan is being worked out to allow street food stalls to stay open till midnight. So that's what I was talking about. So that's what they're planning. They're planning that the street food stalls in Chani Chok area will stay open till midnight so that people can actually have like evening outs, night outs there. So they say, Kejriwal inaugurates redeveloped and beautified stretch. Let's talk about that. You know, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is the chief minister of Delhi. And uh, he inaugurated. So let's inaugurate. And then we will talk about the word beautify. And then we will talk about work out. 
inaugurate you know inaugurate means to officially start something for example inaugurating a new um a new maybe railway line or inaugurating a new mall or inaugurating a new government project inaugurating a building or inaugurating a business so to officially start anything new is to inaugurate uh, if you didn't know you know it now so this uh, redeveloped and revamped chandni chowk was inaugurated by the chief minister of delhi mr arvind kejriwal so it's redeveloped revamped and it's also beautified let's also discuss the word beautify so now we knew the word beauty beautiful beauty is a noun beautiful is an adjective and beautify is a verb beautify is an action so to beautify something means to make that thing beautiful right so that's how we can use the word beautify like they said that chandni chowk has now been beautified okay or uh, what do we do to beautify our pictures on uh, social media or on our phones right we what we do is we beautify our images before we post them do you agree or do we just post natural pictures or do we beautify them most of the time please let me know even i have seen guys beautifying their pictures not just girls but also guys beautifying their pictures before they post them what do you say about it so to beautify something means to make it beautiful to make to improve its appearance right that's beautify let me know how you will use the words inaugurate and beautify i just asked you a question like do you ever beautify your pictures before you post them on social media please let me know uh okay renu yeah good good thank you for correcting yourself huang says his revamped plans are on the cards wonderful i have genius students in my class Karina okay, says the island Bali was revamped quickly in spite of tsunami in 2004 okay great example Renu says my father gave an opportunity to my grandmother to inaugurate his factory nice example so now inaugurate good after inaugurate i would like you to use the word beautify please use now beautify is a verb b e a u t i f y beautify is a verb you can use it in all the forms so the past form will be beautified you will remove y and add i e d so that's beautified second and third forms are beautified so you will use them accordingly beautify now let's also talk about so they have beautified and inaugurated the revamped chandni chowk in new delhi and now the they say that the plan is being worked out to uh to convert it into a hub for night tourism the plan is being worked out to allow street food stalls to stay open till midnight let's discuss the expression work out we know working out to work out means to exercise so that you can stay fitter you can look better to work out right but to or they are working out an idea to do something what does that mean let's discuss it to work out something means to develop an idea or to discover an answer to something so that is what work out something means like the delhi government says they are working out a plan to keep the food stalls open until midnight that means they are working on an idea they are working on finding an idea to to let the to keep the food stalls open until midnight so that's work out something right for example um you know uh, we are working out the details of the project so that's how you can use it now it's your turn to use the expression work out 
in a sentence. Okay. Or say, let's work out an, a strategy to improve our sales. So work out. Okay. Now I'll see if I have any unread comments. Muzaffar says, everyone. What does that mean, Muzaffar? Please let me know. Himanshu says, I beautified my balcony this weekend. That's great, Himanshu. Rinat says, there are a lot of apps which can beautify your pictures. That's right. A lot of apps there. Rinat says, the park is being beautified by um, Nagar, Nagar Nigam. All right, got that. Muzaffar says, I beautified my room with lovely paintings. Great example. Huang says he is inaugurating to revamp, revamp all furniture and plans to beautify his house. Beautiful example. Rajan says, I observed beautified antiques in the vacation trip. Wow. Renu says, I worked out on his project, but it failed. Okay. Good. Can you use the expression such as work out a plan? work out an idea or work out strategy etc can you use work out with these words like work out strategy work out a plan work out an idea etc please try to use that way okay huang says scientists are working out new vaccines to fight against new covid 19 variants great yes um Rajendra says, I'm working out to enhance my vocabulary by keep on practicing. Okay. All right. So do let me know more examples, how you're going to use. We just discussed the words, which one? We discussed inaugurate, beautify, and work out something. Okay, like work out a plan work out an idea, work out a strategy, etc. Let's move on and talk about another expression. So we will talk about a new headline. It says, Vice President pays homage to Subramanya Bharti. Let's talk about this. So the Indian Vice President is who we're talking about. Uh, who is our Vice President right now? That's Mr. M. Venkaya Naidu, I guess. So our the Indian Vice President, Mr. M. Venkaya Naidu, he paid homage to Subramanya Bharti. Subramanya Bharti was, uh, was a poet and a freedom fighter. So he is on a trip to Pondicherry, I guess, yeah, to Puducherry. And there he paid tribute to the great poet and freedom fighter, Subramanya Bharti. Let's discuss the expression pay homage to someone or to pay tribute to someone. What does that mean? I'm sure you've heard this a lot. You've heard this expression pay homage to someone or to pay tribute to someone. They mean the same thing. Pay homage to or you can see it on the screen, right? Pay homage to someone or pay tribute. Tribute is not there, but they mean similar things. Pay homage to somebody or to pay tribute to somebody. Um, if we use these expressions, that mean to honor and to praise that person. Like we always pay tribute to our freedom fighters on our independence day and on our republic day so we pay tribute we pay homage to these people so to pay tribute or to pay homage to somebody means to honor and praise that person yeah and many a time we think or many of us think that we only pay tribute or pay homage to somebody who's dead but that's not right. We can pay a tribute to anyone who's great, who has done something extraordinary, who has done something you know, really great for the society, for the nation, for the world. Um, we usually pay tribute to people who are dead because, because it takes a lot of time to become that uh, significant, to do something really significant. And many people that we greatly admire that we greatly you know respect and honor are dead 
So we pay our tribute to those who are dead, but we can also pay our tribute or pay our homage to somebody who's alive and has done something great. I hope you've got that. So now please use the expression pay tribute to or pay homage to in a sentence. Pay is the verb here. You can use it in uh, all the forms. Pay, paid, paid. Okay. Now please use it in a sentence. Let me know how you're going to use it. All right. Um, Renu says, oh, so Huang says, what does stretch mean? Okay. So the basic meaning of stretch, you know, stretch is, for example, if you uh, straighten your hands like this, your body like this, so that is stretching. We stretch before we exercise, that stretch. But a stretch can also be, uh, you know, uh, uh, space of land that can be a stretch. Okay, so they're talking about the entire stretch means the entire uh, road that's there in Chandni Chalk, that entire location. That's what they're talking about here. All right, Huang. Okay, so Renu says he worked out a plan. He worked out a plan for improvement. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Good job, Renu. Rajinder says Ramnath Kovin paid homage to martyrs on Republic Day. Great one. Tahira says, in fact, the exam worked out than I expected. Okay, worked out better than I expected. That's what he wanted to say. Rather, says, India paid tribute to Neera Chopra for his stupendous performance. Absolutely correct. Renu says, the nation pays homage to freedom fighters on 15th August every year. That's right. Muzaffar says, our family paid homage to my friend after getting a broad scholarship for studies. Great one. Renu says, I pay tribute. I pay tribute to our ancestors who died for our independence. Great examples. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Now that was pay homage to or pay tribute to someone. Now let's talk about the next word. I, yeah, I'll keep waiting for your comments on using pay tribute to someone in a sentence. I'll read them. But before that, let's go and discuss another headline. It says, Anish pulls off season's first win. So this is about, I think this is about the uh, the professional car racing. So it's about professional car racing match that was won by Anish. You know this person? I don't know him because I don't follow sports that much. Um, but we know Anish. I think he's a professional uh, professional car racer. So he pulled off this season's first win. That means he won for the first time this season. For us, the expression to discuss here is pull off, pull off. You know the, the literal, the basic meaning of the word pull. You know, if you pull something off, for example, you pull off a, pull off a, what do we call it? A band-aid. If you pull it off, you know that, you know, it was somewhere and you pulled it away but to pull off something what does that mean like he pulled off he pulled off a win or to pull off a victory or to pull off an exam like if that's what we are saying that means to succeed in doing something that's difficult or unexpected so to pull off something means to succeed in doing something that's difficult or that's unexpected. Okay, for example, he pulled off he pulled off the medical entrance exam, the N neat N W -E T in our country. So he pulled off the exam. That means he cleared it. It was difficult or we didn't expect him to do it, but he pulled it off. That means he still did it. It he succeeded in doing something very difficult. That is what the expression to pull off mean. Pull off is a phrasal verb. You can use it in all the forms like pull off, pulled off, right? Or, you know, it will be great if we can pull off this, this sale. Okay. If we can pull off this sale, that means if we can actually get this sale for our company. Or if we can, 
I'm trying my best to pull off the, what is it? The civil services exams. So to pull off, that is what it means. To pull off something means to do something, to succeed in something that's difficult to achieve. Now it's your turn to use the phrasal verb, pull off in a sentence. Please let me know how you're going to use it. And I'll see if I have any unread comments, okay? Yes, I do have one. Renu says, I finished the story at a stretch. Is it correct? Yes, that's correct. At a stretch means you did not take breaks. You did it continuously. Renu says he pulled off that tough match. Great. So if, if a player or an athlete pulled off a match, that means they won it. It was difficult, but they won. Rajendra says Emma pulls off first Wimbledon win. Okay. Good one. So guys, that's the expression, pull off. Please let me know your examples. You can still write. I would like everybody to participate if you're here. You should participate. I hope you understood the words and the meanings of the words that we discussed today. And let me quickly re review all the words that we discussed today. Let's go through them one by one. So the first expression that we discussed was warm to something. To warm to someone or to warm to something means to begin to like that thing or to begin to like that person to become more eager to become more uh, interested or excited about that thing that's what it means by warming to someone like warming to a person warming to an idea etc the next word was a reunion reunion means reunite with someone after long time next one was uh, revamp to revamp means to change or arrange something again in order to make it more, in order to improve it. So that is revamp. Revamp, remodel, etc. cetera, are the words. Next one was on the cards. If something is on the cards, that means it's likely to happen. On the cards, remember to use the plural word, cards here, on the cards. Next one was inaugurate. To inaugurate means to start something officially, like to inaugurate a building or inaugurate a business, inaugurate a new store, inaugurate a project, etc. Next one was beautify. To beautify means to improve the appearance of someone or something, like to make it look more beautiful. That's beautify. The next word, the word number um, eight was work out something like work out a plan or work out an idea or work out a strategy means to develop that thing or to find a solution about that thing that is to work out something the next word word number nine was pay homage to someone or pay tribute to someone pay homage or pay tribute means to honor and praise that person for something that they have done. Number 10, pull off. To pull off something means to succeed in doing something difficult or unexpected. So these were the 10 words, phrases, and expressions that we learned today. Do let me know how many of these expressions were new from you. And also let me know how you liked today's session. And before you go, let me tell you that at English Cafe, we offer online courses to help you practice English every day. Now, you can learn English maybe through our live sessions or through videos on YouTube, Facebook, etc. But to actually develop fluency and confidence and speak English correctly, you need practice, which means you need to actually speak the language every day. So if that's something you're looking for, you can join an online course with English Cafe. We offer classes in groups and one-on-one. -on -one. So you can, um, you can join the classes that suit you. And uh, you get to practice speaking every day with a trainer. You get feedback every day and the trainer uh, helps you in getting better. 
they share with you what all you need to do in order to develop your fluency, build more confidence. You get assignments on a day-to-day -day basis. So that way you actually make a real improvement in your um, speaking skills. So if that's something you're looking for, you can join an online course. You can visit our website, join it directly from there, or you can get in touch, from, uh, touch with us for more details about the courses. And if you have a friend who needs help with improving their speaking skills, you can let them know about English Cafe as well. And if you're new today in this session, let me tell you that we conduct this live session at 4 p.m. Indian time every day. So you can join the session and learn some new vocabulary because ultimately your ability to communicate comes down to the words that you know. And can you find out a word that's most suitable in a particular situation can you come up with that word when you're speaking so if improving vocabulary is something you're looking for join this live session at 4 p.m every day and if you would like to practice speaking you can join an online course with us and before you leave the session please let me know how you like the session do share it with your friends let your friends know about the live session and i'll see if i have any unread comments um all right um Muzaffar says they pulled off the volleyball match yesterday. Great. Rajinder says, I'm pulling off to track crack UPSC. Great one. Rajinder said, warms to warm to something, reunion, revamp on the cards, inaugurate, beautify. Wonderful job. I really appreciate your uh, consistency in the session and also you making the notes. That's great. Huang says, our country always pays homage to the father of our nation great example all right so that's all for this session do let me know how you liked it i hope you had fun i enjoyed interacting with you all and i'll see you again for another session tomorrow at 4 p.m indian time do join us for that so that's me tomorrow bye bye and have a wonderful evening